bit off the, uh, topic, but what do you think about Putin? The subject is connected with the job. Putin is connected with the subject of the Dajjal, connected with the subject of Akhir Zaman. In this sense, that Allah speaks of a time in the Quran when the Jews will be the most hostile of all people to us Muslims. And Allah says, at that time, there will be a Christian people who will be closest in love and affection for the Muslims. Who are those Christians? The chief of staff of the Pakistan Armed Forces is blissfully ignorant of this. The president of Turkey is even more blissfully ignorant of this. We are led by people who have less than a passing acquaintance with the Quran. That's our pathetic state today. And you're not allowed to say this. <laughs> The Christian people who will be closest in love and affection for us Muslims in Akhiru Zaman would not be the Christians of the West, where a man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate. No. It would be those Christians who belong to Eastern Orthodox Christianity. And already you are seeing them drawing closer to us. Because the Ottoman Empire waged war on Russia for so many centuries, there was tremendous hatred in Russia against Islam. The Russian people, the Russian Orthodox Church would not allow the Muslims to build masjid. In Moscow, even though you're about two million Muslims in Moscow. And guess what Putin did? He overruled the Orthodox Christian Church in Moscow. <laughs> and he ordered the construction of the biggest masjid in the whole of Europe, in Moscow. I don't need to go further to provide you with evidence these are the Christians that Allah is speaking of, who will be closest in love and affection for Muslims. And look at Ukraine. Look at Ukraine. Those who are fighting with the greatest courage and valor in Ukraine are Muslims. Chechen Muslims are fighting heroic, heroic struggle in Ukraine. And all of Russia is seeing how the Muslims are fighting in support of Russia, in Ukraine. So the critics can bite their fingers in frustration. It makes no difference. The reality on the ground is an alliance between Mus Muslims and Orthodox Christians is on the way. And I have left my home in Trinidad, left my wife in Trinidad, who is longing for me to be there and travel to Britain. And I'm now going from Britain to Netherlands. More than five weeks of lecturing here and then two weeks of lecturing there. So I'll be a tired man when I reach to Armenia. Why am I going to Armenia? I'm going to Armenia because Azerbaijan is seeking to fan the flames of war between Muslims and Orthodox Christians. Not the Azerbaijani people, but the Zionist rulers of, of Azerbaijan. So I'm going to Armenia to tell them what the Quran says about Christians. This is my first visit to Armenia. And wherever I have gone in the Orthodox Christian world, and I have presented the Quran to them, they have always responded positively. Several of them have now saying, we accept the Quran to be the word of the one God. Read my book, which is there at the back, my last book, The Messiah, the Quran, and Akhir Zaman. This is my last book. 
and see the forward of that book, written by an Orthodox Christian scholar. He's a Christian. He says, I believe that the Quran is the word of God. I believe that Muhammad is the greatest of all the prophets of God, but he's still a Christian. And I don't stand up on a table with a danda in my take the shahad or take the shahad. I don't do that. That's not wisdom. <laughs> that man is my dear brother and friend. And so we see, I'm from Armenia, I want to go to Russia, but I don't think I'll get a visa. But I'm also going to, to Greece, I'm going to Macedonia. Why am I traveling to all these places in my old age? I'm trying to build fraternity between these two ummas, the ummah of Muhammad and the ummah of Nabi Isa salam. And Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah, He is blessing my effort with success. This is my answer about Putin. Jazakallah Khair Sheikh. I think we had a question here as well. 